Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Dr. Lucy of the Eye Clinic channel and in this channel we teach you about eye diseases and eye conditions and where you can get help. We also tell you some of the things you can do in the comfort of your home to sort out a few eye problems that you can sort out without having to seek for help. So without much ado, let's get into our discussion of today. So today we are discussing the pros and cons of prescription glasses like what I have and refractive surgery. Should I go for surgery or should I just continue wearing my glasses? Both of these are procedures or devices used to sort out what we call refractive errors. Refractive errors is when you're not able to see clearly because light from an object either focuses in front of the retina that is short-sightedness or behind the retina which is long-sightedness. So glasses have been used for a very long time. They are versatile, they are easy to use. One of the advantages of eyeglasses is that it can they can be worn by everybody, adults, children, infants alike. Glasses also provide accurate and predictable visual correction to within 0.5 diopters of the desired correction. Glasses are also less expensive uh, than contact lenses or surgery. They are easier to take care of and they are available everywhere. Glasses also do not cause major side effects because really they do not touch your eyes and also be a fashion statement. The, the same way that you wear different shoes or different clothes for different activities, you can also own several pairs of glasses for different activities or tasks. So you can, if, if you want to read for example, you can wear reading glasses, you can read glasses for seeing far. You can also have prescription sunglasses for holidays and for going out there for fun. So glasses are versatile and they can give you very different looks depending on what you want. And you can choose from very many different shapes, sizes, colors, your, your, your spoiled really for choice. So any mistakes in the prescription that, that sometimes can occur these mistakes can be corrected very easily without so much of a cost. So other properties of glasses that make glasses very easy and nice to wear include photochromatic, anti-glare and scratch resistance to make the use of glasses very comfortable. In those with very high refractive errors, high index lenses are used and that means that the distortions are reduced. And one of the disadvantages of glasses is that you need to change them every two to three years, sometimes even every year, depending on the refractive changes of your eye. So this can add on to the cost of maintaining of your glasses. Many times some people may find eyeglasses are a bit cumbersome because they may press on your nose, on your ears, especially if you're wearing very high prescriptions with the very thick lenses. So they may actually be quite heavy, especially if eye index lenses have not been used. If you're in active sports, you may find eyeglasses very uncomfortable and inconvenient because they tend to slip down because of the sweat. And even if that does not happen, they may get lost, they may get scratches, they may just break and you need to replace that the other very annoying thing about glasses is that they may fog if you go to very hot or very cold temperatures and therefore if you are out there maybe in the rain you need to keep on cleaning them for you to be able to see clearly. So why would people opt out of glasses? They probably don't like their appearance in glasses and sometimes glasses can be uncomfortable to wear like we said that if they are too heavy they may press on your nose or on your ears making it very difficult to wear and also if for people who are in active sports this becomes a little bit difficult. The other thing is that the visual distortions especially with very high refractive errors, very high short sightedness or very high long sightedness may make things in the environment slightly smaller or slightly bigger than they really are. So now let us look at the pros and cons of refractive surgery. The thought of clear glasses in hot, cold or whichever weather is so tempting to have laser surgery for people who wear glasses like myself. And remember, laser surgery has been with us for 25 years. There are so many types of laser surgeries, but LASIK is the most popular and recommended laser eye surgery as of today. 
over 90% of patients or persons who go for refractive surgery yeah. will have very satisfactory results. So during the procedure of LASIK eye surgery, an eye surgeon creates a flap in the cornea. That is the black part of the cornea. The cornea is basically the black part, the transparent, dome-shaped surface of the eye that accounts for a very large refractive power of the eye. The surgeon then uses laser to reshape the cornea, which then corrects the refractive part of the eye, whether you're short-sighted or long-sighted. After that, then the flap is returned into position. So as you can see, this is a very fast procedure, lasts about 20 minutes for both eyes. And But the beauty with refractive surgery is that it is a painless procedure that can be done within 20 minutes. However, it is always good to note that laser eye surgery is not for everyone. It's not like eyeglasses that anyone can wear. So if you have excessively thin or irregularly shaped corneas, you may not be the best candidate for this. There are also some other eye conditions like dry eyes because one of the side effects of laser surgery is dry eyes. So if you already have dry eyes, that may make things even worse and doctors may reconsider your your candidature for this surgery normally we do this for adults anybody above 18 and sometimes if you're on certain medications some medications may cause dryness of uh, mucous membranes and this may not be the best of surgeries to do especially if you're taking such medications other health issues include diabetes mellitus rheumatoid arthritis or extreme allergies that may cause you to rub your eyes those may not be the best candidates for laser surgery. So even if you are a good candidate for laser surgery, the doctor will have to check for other diseases or other infections like eye infections or lead infections or just increased intraocular pressures where the pressures of the eye are increased to make sure that everything is just okay before this surgery goes on. Every surgery, however small, has always the side effect or the risks and and that means laser surgery also has some risks or complications after the, the procedure is done. So although most patients will actually be happy, over 90% of patients, but there are also side effects that have been reported. And one of the most common is dry eyes. Overcorrection, undercorrection. And this may mean that you may have to undergo a second operation or you may resort to getting into wearing glasses or contact lenses the other uh, complications include glare at night eye infections and then rarely loss of visual acuity it can occur but it's 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 a rare complication so in total it will cost you between a thousand to three thousand dollars depending on where you're doing it but of course there are other indirect costs because prior to the procedure you need to do some tests to ascertain that you're the right candidate before this procedure is done and even after the surgery is done you still need to do to get to put in some eye drops and also go for doctor's reviews to ascertain that everything is going on okay after the surgery is done it just doesn't end there because you need time for the healing process of the eye the corner for example will take about six weeks to heal and during this healing process you may require to put in some eye drops and of course this will add on to your discomfort and the eventual cost of the procedure and that completes our discussion today i hope you that you're better informed about prescription glasses on the one hand and refractive surgery on the other and you can make your choice depending on your needs so which one will you go for let us know what you prefer in the comments below thank you so much for watching this is dr lucy of the eye clinic channel like and share our videos and if you have not already subscribed please do so so that we can alert you every time that we do post the videos we do this every week until then goodbye